ladies and gentlemen. Ellie looks at the crowd in fear as the curtains are removed, trapped in a metal cage, the top just a few centimeters from her height, and even less by the sides. Hundreds sitting all around her, all laughing and looking at her with mockery. Ellie cries out for help, yet their laughter and mocks drown out her cries. Three, two, one! Ellie closes her eyes and braces. The crowd from all around her swing their arms, throwing whatever they had brought, from glass bottles, stones, sticks, even rotten vegetables. Ellie couldn't escape. There was nothing to shield her. Even the bars of her cage made things worse, dividing whatever soft waste splattered over her. Ellie cries out in panic, begging for all of them to stop. They couldn't hear her, nor did they want to, even if they could. All they wanted was to mock, laugh, and stay in the little sideshow. Ugly little animal. What a horrid little beast. The constant throwing, mockery, and laughing wouldn't stop. Ellie tries to shut her eyes and ears, yet these would not be able to stop her hurt. She was just one of the shows, an ugly-looking girl who gets laughed at and covered with rotten vegetables being thrown by the customers, thus why she hates and fears eating vegetables, due to her physical deformity. It was only after ten minutes did the sideshow finally stop. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for visiting our circus. I don't want this anymore, Ellie cried out towards the handlers. They ignore her pleas. Instead, they threw her cage and her in it by the side. It fell on its side, crashing with a deafening ring. Best sideshow ever. It's thanks to her the crowd grew. Who thought such an ugly child could be so useful? Good thing you never drowned her. I did. She just refused to die. They laughed as they left, bags of gold in their hands. Their assistants cage up the rest of the cast. Animals, all battered and bruised just as Ellie is. Even driven to hunger with no maintenance. Miss Jaguar. She looks worriedly at the beast. It was a very skinny beast, bones easily seen under its skin. It gave Ellie a weak purr. Please, stay with me. Lucius got off the seat of the crowd. He had no interest to participate as the crowd around him threw whatever trash they had. Moving through the leaving crowd, he sneaks to the back of the circus, passing by many of the circus employees who could hardly notice him at all, even if he had walked right past them. He stops at a cage, seeing the little Ellie crying. Lucius crouches, looking over to her. She did not notice him either, till only moments later. She gasps, looking fearfully at Lucius. Her lips open wide to scream, but Lucius silences her quickly with his hand at her lips. I will not harm you, unless you scream. He digs into his crimson hood, pulling out a large club. Ellie panics. Lucius grins, bringing the club closer to her. To Ellie's surprise, it actually smelled good. Upon closer look, it wasn't a large club, only a large thigh of meat. Ellie was thirsty and hungry. Her mouth couldn't resist watering. Lucius slowly removes his hand from her lips. Lucius takes a bite full of the thigh, chewing onto the delicious meat before her. Please, let me have some. Lucius smiles at her, bringing the large thigh of meat to her. He lets her have a lick, only to pull it away. Ellie squirms. Lucius pulls her cage up, causing her to be up straight. Do you really want some, Ellie? Ellie looked at him surprised. She didn't tell him her name. She didn't care. The food was all she wanted. She nods weakly. Lucius shifts the cage downward, moving Ellie onto her empty belly, slipping the whole piece of meat under before gently pulling the whole cage down. Enjoy. Lucius gets up and slips away. Ellie quickly took the meat in her hands. A human thigh, spiked deeply and marinated in its own blood. It smelled so good, and Ellie ate it quickly. She didn't realize that it was human meat. 
In the next show, she couldn't deny the delicious smell coming from the people. She wasn't sure where it was coming from. As more people arrived to the circus, the smell grew stronger, and so did her hunger. After the first few main shows are over, Ellie, in her cage, is brought out into the center of the crowd. She thought she was going to be afraid of them. Instead, she felt her mouth watering for them. Ladies and gentlemen! The crowd laughed and mocked her. She returns to her senses from their loudness. Three, two, one! The crowd throws whatever they had in their hands at her. Ellie closes her eyes, bracing for the shower of waste, stick, and bones. The crowd became quiet. Ellie stood, still bracing her body, yet she felt nothing. Did they all miss her? She couldn't tell with her eyes shut in fear. The crowd began gasping and speaking among themselves in surprise. Ellie opens her eyes. All the thousands of thrown items toward her stayed in the air, motionless. Her handlers looked at the items, unable to explain what had happened to the crowd. Hate fills Ellie. She wished all of them would be covered in their own mess. Hundreds of thrown vegetables and miscellaneous items flew toward the crowd. Not even one was missed. Except for Lucius, who bent down to pick off the hat of the gentleman sitting up front, saving it from being splattered, and then putting the hat back on the gentleman's splattered face. The crowd sat there, stunned. The jaws of her handlers dropped wide open at the mess all over themselves and the crowd. Ellie recovered from her stunned state, laughing at them all. The crowd bursts into an uproar. Her handlers along with the employees panic as the crowd goes wild. Ellie hadn't had enough. She wanted to see what else would happen. With her mind, she breaks her cage as well as the cage of the wild animals, releasing them all. The wild animals under Ellie's telepathy quickly attacked and ate the crowd of people. Even the herbivores ate the meat and bones of the customers. She continuously mind-tortured the crowd, especially the two handlers who caged and used her as entertainment. It still wasn't enough. She wanted a horror fest. With her telekinesis and telepathy, she has people blown apart, turned inside out, and even suddenly vaporized to bones. The hollow costumes also turned alive and proceeded to kill the crowd. The hollow costumes fill themselves with the crushed flesh and bones of the victims to become Ellie's elite mooks. These elite mooks chase after the escaping crowd, pulling them all back into the circus's tents. Blood, gore, bodies of all the people she hated spurted over the tent's cloth, floor seats, and even onto the horrified crowd. Lucius sat at his place watching, unmoved by the violence all around him, grabbing a few sticks of fresh corn, a handful of salt and a brick of butter, and using a little radiation from his hand. He transformed the corn into a delicious crunchy snack for himself. One of the crowd members tried to escape by climbing up the seats, accidentally crashing his head onto Lucius's lap, spilling all the popcorn onto the floor. That crowd member could finally see Lucius especially his furious crimson eyes. Lucius proceeds to grab the guy's head and bite a part of his head off, chewing into bone and brain. The guy screamed in horror from the intense pain as Lucius continued to eat his head crunch by crunch, keeping him alive as much as possible. Ellie saw what Lucius did. Lucius only smiled at her, his bloody teeth showing. Eat up. Fill your belly. She wasn't horrified. All she felt was hunger. She had used up so much energy, feeling a deep emptiness within her, starving to be filled. As more of the crowd tried to escape, her mooks caught them, bringing them to her, lining them all up side by side. Thus she ate them one by one to fill her belly. She made sure the ones before her could watch in horror, clearly their eyes forced open to see what will happen to them next. As Ellie did so, her body changed, shifting its form from ugliness to pure beauty. Lucius was very impressed. He stands up amongst the crowd of corpses, clapping his hands. Ellie was surprised. 
he kept saying praises of her. She got a standing ovation from the flesh-filled costume horrors, too. For the first time, Ellie takes her first honored bow. Her pride and beauty gained for the first time.